I have been to many conferences in my life, but this is one of the most interesting that I've been to. Uh, the fact that it's uh, interfaith and uh, ecumenical, and the fact that the speakers are all dynamic from all parts of the world, uh, has just made it an extraordinary conference. Uh, the topic, of course, is the complementarity of man and woman, which all of us experience with our mothers and our fathers, and, uh, and uh, the church has a, a clear understanding of the importance of that in our lives. Uh, because it leads to happiness for us. Uh, it's all been reinforced by all these different religious traditions from around the world. So I, I've just found it both interesting and refreshing and a source of new energy and enthusiasm, so I'm very grateful. Of course, the most important part of our meeting was the first moment when the Holy Father came to open the, the conference. And during that uh, presentation, he mentioned that he was coming to Philadelphia for the World Meeting of Families. Uh, Although he's told me this personally many times, this is the first time he's made a public announcement of the fact that he's coming. So this gives us a, a, a new energy and enthusiasm about that project. You know, 10 months from now, we'll be gathered in Philadelphia. Hopefully many of these same people uh, will come because uh, they heard about it here. And uh, our program there is a, is a very large program. We have almost 100 speakers, and it's also very much uh, focused on uh, interconfessional and ecumenical and interreligious dialogue. We have Jewish people speaking, we have an imam speaking, we even have an atheist who's speaking, um, all about family life and the importance of families in our personal uh, growth and wholeness. So uh, I'm grateful to the Holy Father for making the announcement and even more grateful that he's coming to Philadelphia.